Are you tired of your YouTube videos not getting any views? Well, consider TubeBuddy. I've used TubeBuddy for years to scale up my YouTube channel. Now we're sitting over 200,000 subscribers. TubeBuddy is a browser extension that offers a ton of built-in productivity and time-saving services to take your channel to the next level. Use my link in the description to get started with TubeBuddy and level up your channel faster. We work it. Oh, we got an upset alert. More bad news for Eddie Hearn in rematch room. He has another fighter, marquee fighter, on his roster that just got upset back-to-back -back weeks, and they're both named Josh. First it was Josh Warrington, now it's Josh Kelly. We're going to talk about that. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to my channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. Before I get started, make sure you guys use the link in the description to order TubeBuddy. If you're serious about growing your YouTube, use the link in the description, click on TubeBuddy, and order it. It's a browser extension to help you level up your content and your channel. A lot of great strategies that you can use by implementing the usage of TubeBuddy. I've used it successfully on my channel for years. I still use it to this day. And now you guys also have the opportunity to click my link and get TubeBuddy to level up your content. We've scaled my channel up to 200,000. Let's go. Now, let, let's talk about it. Back-to-back -back weeks, rematch room, Eddie Hearn fighters named Josh have been upset. They were the favorite in their fight, and they were faced with and dealt a, a deadly blow. First, it was Josh Warrington. He got upset by a guy named Lada, and he got stopped, looked bad. And the same thing with Josh Kelly, an Olympian, and... You know, another Josh, another rematch room fighter, another Eddie Hearn fighter. Same outcome, back-to-back -back week. So 2021 this is the second month of the year. There's already, you're already seeing upsets, even, you know, unrelated to Eddie Hearn. But some people, including me, had Oscar Valdez as the underdog. I thought Berchelt was the favorite. He was the champion. So that's another upset. But namely, in this video, I want to talk about the Eddie Hearn upsets because you see this quote. And I posted this, and I'm going to explain why. Eddie Hearn in the zone, they posted this. This is a quote from Eddie Hearn. He says, Josh Kelly, he took the step up, and I hope people give him credit for taking the step up. So the thing that's funny, I posted this. I'm going to read my tweet. I said, laughing my off, Eddie Hearn tried to roast Daniel Dubois and Frank Warren when Dubois lost to Joe Joyce. Hearn said that Frank Warren had bad matchmaking. So Josh Kelly just got cooked by a guy that Lamont Peterson beat years ago on the Adrian Broner versus Adrian Granados card that I covered. I was at that fight, and that's David Avenesian. He fought Lamont Peterson. Lamont Peterson handedly beat him. Now uh, you have Eddie Hearn, who's like trying to evoke or get sympathy, saying, hey, Josh Kelly stepped up. He took a step up, and I hope people give him credit for taking a step up. He's an Olympian. David Avenesian is not necessarily considered a world beater. Yeah, he beat like Kermit Le Jaraga in Spain, but that was just a ranked guy. Nobody really knew who he was at the world level. David Avenesian hasn't really beat anyone big. Like I said, the biggest person that I could think of that he probably fought the most world renowned fighter is probably Lamont Peterson, who again, on the Broner versus Granado, just to give you a time frame. He was on that card and he lost handedly to Lamont Peterson, you know. And I said, now Hearn is begging for mercy, imploring boxing fans to give credit to Josh Kelly after a crushing defeat. But he didn't do that with Daniel Dubois. And I said, recently, just put this in perspective. Recently, these UK fighters, especially Eddie Hearn's rematch room guys from the UK are getting cooked and losing horribly. LOL. Dillian White got a one hitter quitter, obviously, in the Povetkin. That was towards the end of, of last year. So I'm just talking about a rolling 12 months, right? Dillian White, he's going to be in the, they moved it to Gibraltar or whatever, but he's about to rematch. We'll have to see what happens in the rematch. But I know the first time he fought Povetkin, he dropped him and then he got destroyed with the single punch. So Dillian White, that's one fighter. In my opinion, Katie Taylor, she got beat up by Pursoons twice. You know, she just doesn't fare well with the Pursoon style. Pursoon, no defense, but a lot of pressure and just very a continual attack. 
And then I said back to back Josh's lose. First it was Josh Warrington against Lada last week. Now Josh Kelly loses bad. And I said Canelo Alvarez punished Caleb Smith. All fact. That was just in December. Caleb Smith looked horrible. He lost every second. He lost every single round. I had the I did a box of ego watch party, and I think most people agreed. Canelo Alvarez 12 and 0 him. He skunked him. You know what I mean? Caleb Smith, now he's saying he's moving up to 175. So the point I'm making is this is a bad string of, you know, the last probably eight months. I don't even think it's been a year from Dillian White to to now. Dillian White, Katie Taylor, that was on the same card. I thought they both, you know, well, Dillian White for sure lost, but Katie Taylor, she got beat up. She didn't necessarily look great against the same style. She didn't really put the put the fight to rest, you know, and ease people's mind. She struggled with it. Josh Warrington, Josh Kelly, again, Canelo destroyed Caleb Smith. Martin Murray got retired by Billy Joe. And then Ryan Garcia, he took Luke Campbell's liver out, right? These are all Eddie Hearn UK fighters, back to back to back to back losing. And then I said, if Canelo fights Billy Joe Saunders, I think Billy Joe Saunders is going to get obliterated, in my opinion. Canelo's just far too experienced at this point. And the way he, I like how he looked versus uh, Caleb Smith. And from what I've seen, I thought Caleb Smith, I didn't think he would beat Canelo, but I definitely think he has more of a style that could have given Canelo some problems. But if Canelo looked as sharp as he did with Caleb Smith, I don't really see what Billy Joe Saunders is going to do, especially when Billy Joe Saunders is very inconsistent with his performances. Like he'll give you a, a great David Lemieux type performance and then he'll fight on a YouTube undercard with KSI and Logan Paul too. And he'll fight against Marcelo Esteban Corsaris and he'll look bad. So I think Billy Joe Saunders is too, he's too up and down. So I would definitely pick Canelo for that fight. So it's just, you know, it's, it's on a bad trend. Joshua did win. You know, I guess that's a saving grace. But who did he fight? He fought his mandatory, a 40-year-old Pulev who had already been knocked out by Klitschko, and he knocked him out. I mean, that's cool, but um, I just think Eddie Hearn's fighters are the U.K. ones. I can't say his, his American fighters, but I guess his U.K. fighters is just back-to-back-to-back to back to back bad news. And I said, damn, homie, in high school, you was the man, homie. <laughs> is this karma? Now, Again, the reason I have to bring this up is because, listen, Eddie Hearn's saying Josh Kelly, he took the step up, and I hope people give him credit for taking the step up, you know, begging for mercy and sympathy from the fans. But this is what he said to Talk Sport, which is owned by DAZN. Says, pack in. Eddie Hearn suggests Daniel Dubois did quit against Joe Joyce, but blames promoter Frank Warren for rushing Daniel Dubois, Dynamite Dubois, and matching him really poorly. So it's boxing. People, you're going to either win or you're going to lose. So does Eddie Hearn now believe that he matched Josh Kelly poorly? Because Daniel Dubois, I did think he quit too, for the record. I said that on the Box Eagle Watch Party. But he was still game. He didn't like, he lost, but he got kind of broken down. You know, Joe Joyce had a, he's strong. It's the heavyweight division. You know, one punch can change anything. But now when it's his fighter, he's talking about, oh, just give him credit for stepping up. David Avenesian, he, that's not like Jerron Boots Ennis or something, you know? So why should we give a bunch of credit to a guy that nobody has in the top five? You know what I'm saying? Nobody would say David Avenesian is a, is a top five guy right now, you know, in a stacked division. And that's not what it, the same energy he had for Daniel Dubois. He said Daniel Dubois quit, and it's because Frank Warren rushed his fighter. So now look at this is this is the condition of Josh Kelly's face. He was bleeding everywhere. He was um, he started off the first two rounds. He was cool, um, and then this is the outcome. He's on all fours, exasperated hurt his leg right before this as he was falling there was two knockdowns and this is round six there was two knockdowns in that round he did this stanky leg his leg was looking like bear choke 
right? And then he's, he's just, you know, got the fight beat out of him. Now, to me, this is not really surprising because Josh Kelly, what I, I, I told you, in my opinion, he has some skill, but he he also seemed kind of like a four-round fighter. You know how when people say, like, oh, Zab Judah or whoever is a four-round fighter? That's how he seemed. You know, like, he just, for an Olympian, you would you would like to have seen further progress. You know what I mean? I, I like to see when, like, Shakur Stevenson don't look like this in his fights. He's an Olympian, too. And you see the progress when Shakur's, like, getting more knockouts or more dominant performances. You're seeing him mature and grow. Josh Kelly is an Olympian, and he's getting beat by, again, someone who's not considered top five in the division, you know? And he's beaten to a bloody pulp and stuff like that. But I thought Josh Kelly already lost, for real, to Ray Robinson. That's my honest opinion. I thought he lost the Ray Robinson fight, and they didn't know. I think they said it was a draw or whatever. So I already see, like, some flaws in Josh Kelly's game. And, you know, it is what it is, but... Eddie Hearn, maybe he'll understand now before he says stuff to other promoters when it doesn't work out. But this is this is an abysmal stretch from from Eddie Hearn. You know, Josh Kelly looked to be the goods. He, he has he has like it's like he almost tries to do. It looks like he's in shape. You know what I mean? He's an Olympian. He wasn't supposed to lose. Look, people were seeing like this picture right before the fight. Saying, oh, he's swollen in shape. None of that matter. David Avenesian applied a great pressure. And you've seen the screen caps from, from the fight. It's just too much pressure. He couldn't deal with that. Round six, he couldn't deal with it. You see what I'm saying? And he kind of lost focus. And he kept getting broken down. His legs were looking bad. He, he, he was just, it, it just wasn't, it wasn't enough. Look. He's out of there. The referee's like, no, nah, I've seen enough. Beat the fight out of man. And this is not someone who most people, again, would have as, as a top person in the division. So shout out to David Avenesian. He did his thing. Um, Josh Kelly got to kind of go back to the drawing board. But a very bad stretch for for Eddie Hearn. This Dillian White fight is going to be interesting to see it because he comes from a, a bad knockout. We'll have to see how how Dillian White fares in the rematch. But, you know, it's been very tough for rematch room fighters. Damn, that's a crazy picture. He says another thrilling night. Yeah, another upset. I know Eddie Hearn has to be mad at this. He's, he's probably trying to make it, you know what I'm saying, like act like he's not unbothered or whatever. But look, see, he said big respect to all the fighters who put it on the line last night. Nah, you know. Eddie Hearn has to be salty at that, but it is what it is. He should probably think about that when he says stuff to Frank Warren and Daniel Dubois, you know, is this bad matchmaking? Because Josh Kelly got spanked pretty bad by, again, someone who's not a top five person. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. We were. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more sports. Get unlimited access to premium content with an ESPN Plus subscription. ESPN Plus offers a variety of content, including specials, behind the scenes, docu-series like Bruce Lee's Be Water, and much more. With an ESPN Plus subscription, you get access to a ton of classic archive fights and replays from boxing and the UFC. Big names like, hi, I'm Mike Tyson, come and watch my fight, Floyd Mayweather, easy work, I'm rich, and Manny Pacquiao. Uh, yes, it's up to my promoter. Do, 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 do. Just to name a few. If that's not enough, you could get the ESPN bundle, which includes ESPN Plus, Hulu, and Disney Plus. All three apps, one low price. You don't want to miss out. Make sure you guys click that link in the description box of all of my videos. Ego, signing off. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.